Were they really Prada? In the end, after all those rumors and all that tongue clucking, no. But were Benedict's red shoes still worth all the hype and attention they garnered? Arguably, yes. When Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger became Pope Benedict XVI in 2005, observers across the globe noted with interest that he adopted for red outdoor shoes, reviving a centuries-old tradition that had lately gone dormant. Red dress shoes, worn by anyone, are a statement. But for Pope Benedict XVI, who died Saturday at 95, the statement may have been about his relationship with the Catholic Church, and how he saw his role in it. Historically, all popes wore red shoes, before Benedict's predecessor, Pope John Paul II, whose tenure lasted nearly three decades, exercised his right to opt out and switched to a more demure burgundy. They also wore red indoor slippers, before Pope Paul VI discontinued the practice, for good, in 1963. The color has a variety of significances, some believe it is a reminder of Jesus' bloodied feet when he was crucified, while others believe it represents the spilled blood of Catholic martyrs. Ancient kings are said to have worn red as a symbol of status, since the dye required to make it came from rare sea snails, aristocrats and royalty continued the tradition, and some believe the church adopted the color as a way for popes to assert their equal worldly authority. When Benedict opted to revive the red shoes tradition, they were a sensation. Rocco Palmo, the Philadelphia-based editor of the Catholic news site Whispers in the Loggia, still remember seeing them for the first time in person in 2008. My first thought to myself was, oh my god, those shoes are really red. Despite having been quite familiar with them, there was something in the flesh that made them pop, he says now, with a laugh. The Prada rumor, which originated in the Italian press, Palmo says, was kind of the beginning of, you know the internet being able to say something, regardless of the veracity of it. The Vatican later clarified that the shoes were custom made for him not by Prada but by other Italian cobblers. Some were by Antonio Arellano, based in Rome. Others were by Adriano Stefanelli, in the northwest Italian city of Novara. Stefanelli shared with the Washington Post a 2005 letter from the Vatican officially inviting him to design shoes for the new pope. 